Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, I have got a little bit of a problem. There's a uh, bearing race. The bearing came apart and got stuck on this crankshaft, and now I gotta try to figure out a way to get it off of there. So uh, let's see if we can get that done today. Welcome to Man Time. Well, in preparation for having to dig back into that John's Red, uh, it is not running right, and I'm suspecting it was the crank. Uh, or it could be this bearing that's somehow come apart and I didn't notice it during the uh, reassembly process. Something is very wrong um, with the saw, and I'm assuming it's, it's crankshaft. So, uh, you know, I don't have a local Husqvarna dealer, and to get this from Husqvarna, I'm guessing it'd be about 150 bucks or somewhere thereabouts. Anyways, I got it on uh, on eBay for about half price. Uh, looks good, like threads look good. Um, yeah, everything looks good. Bearing, you know, all that stuff. It's uh, very, very free, very smooth, and no play. So, uh, problem is, <laughs> there's the uh, race from the bearing still stuck on there. And that's going to be a press fit, right? So, um, we would either have to press it off, or, as we do in assembly, uh, cool down the crank and then heat up the race. So I'm going to try the easy way first, which is going to be map gas on the race and tapping it and see if that doesn't work. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to do something with a set of uh, pullers. So let's try the heat first. Yeah, I got a uh, I got a set of pullers, two jaw pullers out here, and it looks like this really small set is going to get close, but we've got to do some modifying to the race here uh, so it'll actually grip a hold of it and you can see I've got welding gloves on here I don't want to take any chances but we'll uh, open up our gas here and we'll start with the heat and I'm just going to go around and then we'll kind of tap it It had the uh, it had the O-ring on there. Nope, I don't think that's doing it. All right. Well, step two is I think going to be a two-step process. Where first um, we get some flats on this bearing race, and that's going to be with a uh, four and a half inch angle grinder. And then we may actually have to modify um, the tips of these, uh, these jaws here. But we'll come to that when we get there. Let's start. Let's start with the race. Um, I'm going to switch out to a thinner blade here. Hopefully I can get a nice tight, um, nice tight flat on there. on. I don't know if you ever nicked yourself with a, uh, a grinding wheel or grinding disc, but it is no fun. Okay, so here's what we got after the, uh, after the grinding. And you can see on there we've got some nice flats, you know, coming up right underneath on either side of that race. So let's get in here on the bench and see if we need, uh, I'm just gonna modify these now. 
Um, you can see on these, you know, it's just got that rounded uh, flat. Yeah, it's not going to work. So I'm going to touch these up with this other grinding disc and get a nice flat, sharp edge on those jaws. Give me a little bit better chance here. All right, well, the, uh, the heat didn't work, but hopefully this will. And all I did here, you can see on these jaws, uh, I took them down and basically got them a little bit thinner profile and then flattened them off on the edges uh, to where they're going to actually, hopefully, bite in there. So, let's see if that is going to work. Okay, I think we are just about there. Let's uh, give this one more shot here. Um, it looks like I may have given it enough clearance. As I go ready tidy on here. Might be able to hang on. Ooh, okay. Well, this one is starting to slip off on this side. So, uh, what we can do there, if we're having a problem with slippage, might be able to find a set of pliers big enough to kind of grip on there. Let me able to use these holes right here. Okay, I think that might do it if, if I can keep it lined up. Yeah, it started canting to one side. Let's try this. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got it. There we go. All right, ta-da! <laughs> oh man, hopefully I didn't get that too hot, huh? That'd be bad news. All right, let's get a uh, close-up look here of the tools of the trade. Um, so you can see their jaws, you know, cut down to where they're a little bit thinner, and then on this race itself, uh, you've got these cut where you've got a nice flat on either side you know, to grip onto. I saw on this side I was getting really, really close to poking through there. Um, didn't do any damage to the, uh, to the crank, though. All right, man. Well, that was getting your bearing race off of your chainsaw crankshaft, if that happens to you. Um, it's, a, uh, it's probably pretty common, you know, when those bearings go to just falling apart. You pull your crank out or you push your crank through the case and you've got that race right on there. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, I'd almost stop mentioning that there's such a thing as a, a super chat, no, super thanks, where if you want to donate some money to the channel because you learned something really cool, uh, one of my newer subscribers has done that a couple times, and I really appreciate it, man. Uh, <laughs> that's why I stopped mentioning it. I was like, yeah, YouTube doesn't pay me. Why would anyone else pay me, you know, my subscribers included? Because, uh, I mean, YouTube has always been this free kind of learning platform. And I appreciate it as much as you do. I pay for the premium so I don't have to watch the ads. Uh, and I guess if you do that, I get a little bit more money. But, you know, do whatever you want. If you want to do a, a super thanks, uh, that option is available. So, anyways, get out there. Have you some man time, too.